I'm Charlie Wright, and I'm going to be doing Proteus from Two Gentlemen of Verona, Lewis from Angels in America, Tartuffe from Tartuffe, and Charles from An Infinite Ink. <sighs> to leave my Julia shall I be forsworn. To love fair Sylvia shall I be forsworn. To wrong my friend shall I be much forsworn. And even that power which gave me first my oath provokes me to this threefold perjury. Love bade me swear, and love bids me forswear. Oh, sweet suggesting love, if thou hast sinned, teach me thy tempted subject to excuse it. At first I did adore a twinkling star, but now I worship a celestial sun. Unheedful vows may heedfully be broken, and he wants wit that wants resolve and will to learn his wit to exchange the bad for better. Fie, fie, unreverend tongue, to, to call her bad, whose sovereignty so oft thou hast preferred with twenty thousand soul-confirming oaths. I, I cannot leave to love, and yet I do. But there I leave to love where I should love, Julia I lose, and Valentine I lose. If I keep them, I must needs lose myself. If I lose them, thus find I by their loss, for Valentine myself, for Julia, Sylvia, <laughs> and I to myself am dearer than a friend, for love is still most precious in itself. And Sylvia, witness heaven that made her fair, shows Julia but a swarthy Ethiop. I will forget that Julia is alive, remembering that my love to her is dead, and, and, and Valentine I'll hold an enemy, aiming at Sylvia as a sweeter friend. I cannot now prove constant to myself without some treachery used to Valentine. Love, let me wings to make my purpose swift, as thou hast lent me wit to plot this drift. You're a nurse. Give me something. I, I don't know what to do anymore. Last week at work, I screwed up the Xerox machine, like, permanently. And then I tripped on the subway stairs, and my glasses broke, and I cut my forehead here, see? And now I can't see very well, and my forehead is like the mark of Cain. Stupid, right? But it won't heal. And every morning I see it, and I think biblical things. Mark of Cain, Judas Iscariot, and his silver, and his noose. You know, people who, in betraying who they love, betray what's truest in themselves. And I feel... Nothing but cold for myself. Just cold. And every night, I miss him. I miss him so much. But then those sores and that smell and where I thought it was going, I, I could be sick too. Maybe I'm sick too, I don't know. Madam, forget such fears and be my pupil, and I shall teach you how to conquer scruple. Some joys, it's true, are wrong in heaven's eyes, yet heaven is not averse to compromise. There's a science lately formulated whereby one's conscience may be liberated, and any wrongful act you care to mention may be redeemed by purity of intention. I'll teach you, madam, the secrets of that science. And meanwhile, just place on me your full reliance, assuage my keen desires, and feel no dread. The sin, if any, shall be on my head. If you're still troubled, think of things this way. 
No one shall know our joy save us alone. And it's no evil till the act is known. It's scandal, madam, which makes it an offense, and it's, it's no sin to sin in confidence. So the thing about marriage is, I don't even know what the hell it is. Like, I, I, I don't think anybody does until they do it and get divorced and try again, right? Like, then they'll know what to do. So I think, okay, well, wouldn't it be great if I could marry someone like I didn't actually love for practice? I mean, I know that's... But then I'd be ready to marry you after I got the divorce from them so that our marriage would have a better chance to make it so that forever wouldn't be just another word and love. Love. I hate that word. It's so used up. There's nothing left for me for us. Look, I'm just an ordinary guy. But nobody tells you how ordinary people are supposed to love. I mean, like, what movie has ever really captured a real, down-to-earth, boring, basic kind of love? Uh, okay, well, maybe Last Tango in Paris, but... <laughs> I don't really see what good that does us in the end, and I'm pretty sure I don't want you sticking your fingers up my ass, so... By the look on your face, it's clear you haven't seen that movie, so, um... With the fingers are just... Forget it. I just want to say that I can't promise anything. I mean, when we're up at the altar, and the priest, or the judge, or the rabbi, or whoever says, Will you take hope and sickness and health and blah, 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 I can't say I do, because how do you make a promise like that? I can say I'll try my best. I can say I will promise to try my best. All that I know is that right now, at this moment, I want to spend my life with you and only you. At least for now. So I just want to ask you, can we try to find love together? I mean, I know that's... The the question is, like, traditionally, like, what, like, what I've been trying to... <laughs> I didn't think it would be so hard. <laughs> like, should I kneel, or is it... I think I've already ruined the surprise, but... Look, here it comes. <laughs> nope, nope, that wasn't it. Yes, yes, it was, yes, it was. Hope, will you... Will you... Will you... Thank you.